lovely redone home well the lounge anyway redone redone the lounge taking a few minutes sorry i haven't been on for a while um okay i'm planning to put this on my youtube hopefully my instagram if, if it'll let me I don't know if it's gonna let me do this longer video and my facebook um so welcome to my new series uh, and here this person here this is gizmo also known as Kizzy Moo Moo, Moo Moo, Boo Boos, Panther, one of my boys. Oh, it's my boy. My baby. Love them so much. Um, so, as you probably tell, I'm in the UK. So the UK is in lockdown mark three. And I haven't been able to get out to do any paranormal investigations for quite a while, for a few months now, because we've had um, lockdown two as well in before Christmas. Um, I am staying home and I'm not going out investigating deliberately because um, some people I do investigations with are vulnerable. My mum as well, she is my bubble. Um, so I thought of an idea of to keep you all interested and for me to have something to do um, while we're in lockdown. I'm hoping to do two videos a week if I get my arse into gear. We'll see. Um, so I have decided so the new series that this is, is going to be called Murders and Mysteries of Gloucestershire. My plan is, depending on um, how well these videos go, fingers crossed, I can find enough to keep you guys interested and me interested, um, is basically anything to do with, so my other love as well as paranormal and dra anything Jurassic is murders. <laughs> Blame this on my husband when we sped up. I started getting into murder programs and I've just always been fascinated by it, by the um how they get the evidence and the thinking of people when they do the murders. So that's why it's called Murders and Mysteries, because I wanna try and put being in the UK there's a oh hey up here comes the other one. Shadow You coming in? It'll be in a minute. Um yeah. I'm hoping to do, there's a lot of legend and mythology with the UK. Hello. Hello, Papa. That's right, he's going to start yelling at me in a minute. Um, especially with like King Arthur and Robin Hood. And especially with whales and dragons and everything. So I'm kind of hoping to cover that as well as any murders and, and, and solve crimes. Uh, witchcraft because we did have witch trials in the UK so the first video for this evening is going to be unidentified bodies so there are four unidentified bodies so the first one so this is going as far back as 1980 um, and there are four unsolved cases which is kind of sad because they no one has come forward to claim them or to say who they are so they've got no one to love them and no one to miss them so I'd also like to kind kind of try and if it rings anyone's bells for in any country, no matter where you are, um, they're not necessarily from the UK. They could be from anywhere. Um, a rat bag. He'll make an appearance in a minute. So anywhere in the world watching this, and if any of the details do ring a bell with me, please please message me if you don't feel safe ringing the um, police and I can forward the information on to them. Hopefully um, we can help in finding them, their families or at least someone who misses them. So the first body was found at Gloucester Country Club. No, Gloucester, yeah, Gloucester Country Club. I keep wanting to call it a golf club for some reason. So all four bodies that are still unidentified are men. So the first one at Gloucester Country Club, this uh, poor guy, he was found hanged um, at 
the girl from her age 25 to 30 years old described as white european height of 178 centimeters stocky build so i imagine she's quite well just don't you dare yell at me yet um, he was found hanging at the golf course at the country club. He was wearing a padded green jacket. What are you doing, mon monkey? Padded green jacket, black Adidas t-shirt, brown shoes, blue jeans, and a blue shirt, wearing a digital watch. He was found on 19th of April, 1997. So again, if any of this rings bells, please let me know. Forest of Dean. Okay, so this body was found at the Forest of Dean, obviously. Uh, he was a man aged 45 to 65. He described white European height, 183 centimetres, medium build. Now, he was found decomposed and um, he died between 1968 and 1974. Now, this one's fans a bit, you get what I know in it. So he was wearing um, a green, car, green khaki tweed trousers, light shirt, brown shoes and glasses. The body was found on 23rd of April, 1980. A few possessions on him were glasses, leather wallet, Scissors, nail file, a small photo album with photos destroyed, pen and pre-decimal coins. Um, now, I don't know, this could have been someone walking and they just had a heart attack and dropped dead and they didn't have anyone like they lived on their own or they were a widow or something. Hopefully this brings up a few memories for people. So the next one, so the third one, uh, Cinderford, which is also classed as Forest of Dean. Male aged 25 to 16. Now I know that's quite broad, but uh, this body was quite decomposed, so it was pretty hard. And I think when you get to a point, it's pretty hard to tell, unless you've got specific bones. So it's pretty hard to tell what age they were, so it's just an estimate. Um, white European again, I think these are all white European. 178 centimetres tall, medium build. Um, so the decomposed body was found near Cinderford. Uh, was believed to have been dead for around two and a half years. Maybe a hiker and a rambler, so again, could have um, just, you know, dropped dead which is quite sad so he could have had a heart massive heart attack stroke brain bleed and um, so he was wearing a green jumper gray socks striped shirt and brown shoes now this possessions found on body uh were a pen knife with m tucker inscribed on the handle or scratched into the handle as it were a map Plastic bottle of lemon squash, scissors, toothpaste, electric razor. So it sounds like he was a hiker and he was out hiking on his own, possibly. Maybe he was hiking with someone else because of where uh, he was camping. Insect repellent, magnifying glass, toothbrushes, traveling alarm clock, and a rucksack. So, sounds like they could have just, again, dropped dead and no one's missed them and they've had no one to love them so of course no one knows they've gone missing another one so the last one was found at the rivers on the river banks of banks of the river seven male right this is really bored male again white european age between 16 and 100 and you'll find out why unknown height because not all the body was found uh, bones found on a public foot bath on 21st of March 2009, so this is the latest. Circumstances the bones were found in, trainer with a sock and bones inside found on a public footpath adjacent to the River Severn at Oda's Chapel, o Oda's, Oda's Chapel.
Now this I think is quite possibly a murder, unless I have heard of someone who was in the press recently and they had roped themselves to cement blocks and throw themselves over a bridge so that the blocks would carry the, literally so they couldn't come back up and something like that you would think would be a murder case because usually when people murder someone and they chuck them in the river they tie rocks or blocks of cement to them to keep them down because once de decomposition starts everything starts to break down and the gases in you makes the body rise so that is why usually especially people if they know what they're doing and i'm telling people what to do now probably not good um that they tie tie people or the persons to some blocks i know there was one lady i think out in the caribbean or the bahamas and some divers and there is a picture of her and some divers had found her tied to a wheelchair I think the wheelchair the wheelchair was tied to rocks and like breeze blocks cement blocks to keep her down and two divers came across her. if two divers never would never have come across her she would never have been found and her husband would have gone away with murder but hey anyway okay so I digress I do apologize so we go back to the last body or leg or foot as it sounds. So it was a Blue Van Vision skate shoe, uh, originally manufactured in the USA and sold in the UK in 2006. And that's it. So I'm hoping that someone recognizes some of these details and can i mean i've attached the photos as well well the photos that i've got and we'll see what happens i'd like to there is a couple of unsolved cases that i would like to do two i think are related to each other and they think it's the same guy don't you two start fighting and i think it's the same guy and would you guys like to meet shadow come here monkey We call him the bear cub. Look. What's this? Shadow. What's that? Look. Say hi. Say hi, everyone. She's not impressed. Good boy. Come here. <laughs> call him the bear cub. Complete mummy's boy. Until next time, thanks for joining me. Um. Love each other, stay safe. Mwah.